Sorry, the number you have dialed is not... Good morning, I'm Hannah Jones. And I'm Sergio Vasquez. And welcome to Garden News Network. With Hannah Jones. Sergio Vasquez. Bubba Hitting Rock. Agent Hector. Austin Kirkpatrick and Hallie Clark. Contrell McClellan. Rock Rage. Chet Weathers. Chip Weathers. Ed Hood. Robert Pattinson. Faith Shumate. And Anna Clark. We are here in Harrison at the 2A State Championship for boys tennis and girls tennis. Now we're on over to Bubba Hidden Rock for Gurdon Sports Nation. This is Bubba Hidden Rock with Gurdon Sports Nation. On Monday, four members of your tennis team traveled to Harrison, Arkansas for the state tennis tournament. Sergio Vazquez won his first round but was defeated in the quarterfinals. Great job, tennis team. On last Friday, your Go Devils hammered Spring Hill 61-8. AK had 42 passing yards, two touchdowns, and one rushing touchdown. Chris Acker and Ed Hood both had a pick six on defense, and thankfully, Coach Pace did not get ejected this year. Here are some highlights from the game. Devils. This week, the Go Devils have a bye due to Lafayette County forfeiting all of their games. The Go Devils are now ranked second in the Arkansas Democrat Gazette poll. This has been Bubba Hittenrock with Garden Sports Nation. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, old Arkansas. And now over to Agent Hector. This is Agent Hector with this week's survival tip. If you see buzzards flying overhead, don't stop and stare at them. This has been Agent Hector. Good morning, I'm Hallie Clark. And I'm Austin Kirkpatrick. And this is Updates from the Office. Next Thursday from 6 to 8 will be East Night Out. There will be free food and you can see what all the East has done so far this year. I'm with Chet. East Lab has adopted South Front Street and there will be a local cleanup Saturday from 8 to 10. And local celebrity Chet Weathers, he will be working with the common people. November 1st, after school in the East Lab, will be a zombie makeup workshop for only $3. Today for lunch, we're having hamburgers, fries, and ketchup. And remember, Drug Free Week is the 22nd. The theme is, be all you can be, be drug free. This has been Hallie Clark. Back to the studios. Thanks, guys. And now for the weather with Chip Weathers. Chip Weathers here with a look at your weekend forecast. Today's high will be 73. Tomorrow's high will be 77, and on Sunday we'll have a high of 80. Have a good weekend. This has been Chip. I feel that Romney would be best represented as a big cat like a tiger or a lion because he came out with his claws roaring. And Barack Obama, I feel like he would have been maybe a cockatiel because he interrupted a lot and I, I used to have a cockatiel and you would start a sentence and it would and it sounds like Barack when they talk anyhow so that is probably the options that I would choose on that fine question there. I would probably feel again I think it would be Mitt Romney because Barack Obama used to live in Hawaii and there's not a lot of places to buy baseball cards in Hawaii I would imagine. But there may be, I don't know, I've never made any attempts to purchase baseball cards or any kind of sports memorabilia in the great state of Hawaii. So I would still feel like it's Mitt Romney. And his name is Mitt, like the catcher's Mitt. <laughs>
Chet Weathers here with Miss Glenn. Miss Glenn can't stop laughing. Miss Glenn, can you share with us a memorable moment from the GHS office? Chatting with Chet Weathers. <laughs> she really loves this interview. She is a giggle box. She may seem hard on the outside, but inside, she's as fluffy as a bunny. This has been Chet Weathers. Now back to you. Thanks, Chet. And now it's time for our interview of the week. Hi, this is Space Shoemate and Anna Clark here with Mr. Caps to ask him a couple of questions. Mr. Caps, tell us about the new fast internet. Well, it's uh, three times faster than the internet we've had, and uh, it's fast. It's uh, super fast. It makes fast things look not fast. How many computer problems now that we have the new internet have you had? Uh, really, I can't say we've had any any problems with the uh, uh, computers or anything. I mean, it's just you're able to get to YouTube quicker than you used to be able to. Why aren't students allowed to be on YouTube? Uh, the main reason students can't be on YouTube is because uh, we get federal funding to pay for our internet, and because of the, our, because of that, we are uh, we have to be SIPA compliant. And there's just things on the internet that uh, students don't need to be hearing or seeing, which I know they do, but uh, they don't need to be seeing and, and hearing those things through the uh, school, you know, federally funded lines, basically. Thank you. This has been Anna Clark and Face You Mate with Mr. Katz. Thank you, ladies. Thank you for watching this week. This concludes our broadcast, and please tune in next week. This is Hannah Jones. And Sergio Vasquez. Meow. Is there a hit and rock? Do you want some Get this out of my face! Whatever your name is, I think we're ready for the shot now. Ed, you ready? Don't you? Let's. Ed, you ready? Last Friday, your Go Devils beat Spring Hill 61 to. Ed, what are you doing? Ed! What are you doing, Ed? You idiot! Ed! What are you doing? What are you doing, Ed? God! You're such an idiot! You're horrible! Gosh, Ed! For our interview of the week. Thank you, ladies. This concludes our podcast. It's okay. Thank you, ladies. Me, huh? Oh, oh. <laughs>